Hello, it's Clotilde from All of Serious Italy. Well, Hi. first thing first, huge congratulations for everything you've done for, for the show. Thank you. And it, it is a show that touches on profound things, such as like grief, parenting from various viewpoints, and ultimately also the, the idea of second chances. In fact, like we are humans, we make mistakes, it's mm. inevitable, but uh, I also think everybody deserves like a second chance. How challenging it was to, to wave this concept into, into a comedy like Shrinking? Uh, well, to make it a comedy, <laughs> uh, it's, it's uh, I tend to think that we kind of write like a drama and then make it funny, I think is how it works. It's hard to say because I also think it's our taste. Me and Bill Lawrence and the other writers, it's like, our, our general instinct is that life is sad and funny so it, it always kind of would be a comedy anyway you know what I mean like uh and then you write it you write it seriously and then you make it funny I think does that make sense yeah it does it does yeah. I, I always yeah. joke with my friends that my love life is dramedy so yeah there you go <laughs> kind of... exactly exactly we write it like your love life well, also, like, one of the standout qualities of shrinking, in my opinion, is its unconventional take on, on parenting, because it's not just about, uh, you know, the traditional roles of parenting, about fathers and mothers, sons, daughters, but it also, like, how parenting is embedded in our society. So how do you see these intersecting the broader topics uh, explored in the show? Well, I think, yeah, I think it's, it's weirdly, we're talking about this more, actually, at the moment, but, like, it's... Um, it's the concept of the village raises the child, you know, like, I think that's what's lovely about the show is there, there's, uh, Alice has lost a parent, but she also has this <coughs> huge network of people that care for her and are there for her in different ways. And you have Paul meeting her on a bench for his secret chats and you have Liz next door and Derek and, and, uh, Brian and, uh, and even Sean, like they're all um, looking after each other. And Gabby, who had been absent and is now present. And yeah, I think it's the reality of it, it for those who are lucky enough that you can have a lot more than just a parent if you have good people around you. Yeah, maybe that's also what brings light in the yeah. dark shade our lives as we were saying yeah, and it's I, I, and it's more point points of view and more empathy and more love like yeah i think the more good people you can have around you you're very lucky yeah i, I completely agree with it yeah. and once again uh huge congratulations for the show uh i loved it and i think it makes like even um it gets even better with the with the second season nice. <laughs> thank you very much Thank you so much. Thank you. Bye. Bye.